Hello to everyone. This is your Thursday night 10X World Training. And uh, if you're watching this, then you found it. Congratulations. <laughs> you found it in the back office. Uh, and this is where we put all of our trainings on Thursday night. And But we would rather you be here live because that way you can ask questions. So if you're watching this on a recording, next time try to be here live. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday night. Same bat time, same bat channel. So what we've got going on tonight is, folks, we're going to teach each and every one of you how to get free traffic. That's exactly right, how to get free traffic. Everybody always asks, well, how in the world do Tim and Randy do it? How in the world do you guys do it and stay at the top of the leaderboard and never spend a dime in money? Zero, zilch, nothing, nada. Well, we do it with free traffic. So tonight, Tim Siebert is going to teach us exactly what it is that he does and how, what he has done to build teams of over 1.1 million people and a seven-figure income, folks. So you don't want to miss this. You don't want to lose your seat. Don't log out. We are at maximum capacity. So be sure that you stay right here with us. So without further ado, from Waxhaw, North Carolina, here's Mr. Tim Sieber. Thank you, Mr. Randy Thomas out of Asheville, North Carolina, folks. Is this 10X SB system, SBC system, not the bomb? I mean, let me say this. There are people in the room today that are in both of our systems. We have a generic system that's outside of SBC, and, and then we have our 10X SBC system, okay? So don't think that we're, you know, showing partiality in this and that. This training is generic. This training is all about creating an incredible income without having to spend money. Now, I've already proven it can be done. I've proved it in GDI. Randy and I together put together traffic for basically nada, no money out of pocket. Now, we were on a couple of, couple of um, Google Hangouts this week from other leaders in companies, and it was unique. It was a real trip to be on their, their Google Hangouts because I heard more profanity and more insults than I've had, I've heard in my entire career by these leaders. And they're taking people down a yellow brick road that leads off the edge of a cliff. And it's sad, okay? Totally sad, but people will follow them. But you got people right now, at, uh, and we'll talk about this in a second, that literally are not telling the truth. And for those of you that know me and Randy, we're all about transparency. We're all about the truth. If we don't know an answer, we won't give you an answer. That's just the way it is. You might not like it, but it's the way it is. You see, we want to make sure that whatever we share with each and every one of you is duplicatable. Okay. But when I see leaders telling people to go out and spend five and $10 in these rev share programs that are here today and gone tomorrow, that are losers. Okay. That work temporarily. It's like putting a band aid on a big gash that's bleeding to death. Okay. And then to take that and keep buying more and more and more, and they're earning a percentage of what you're spending on those those ad packs, okay? And then I see, and I've seen this game before. That's why I want to make sure before I go into my training that I call to your attention to buyer beware. There's better ways. You can trade time, uh, trade your money for, to hold on to your money and use your time. Don't get me wrong, if you've got money to invest in advertising, it's a different story, but the majority don't. And you see, we're all about the majority. We're all about taking those people that have never made more than $50 a month or $100 a month in a network marketing company and creating a life-changing income for you. So, and, and buying, buying advertising. And whenever I see, see leaders out there that are at the top of leaders boards and they're and, and people are wondering how they're doing it, but they're spending two and three thousand dollars a week to create enough traffic to get up there. And we're right there spending basically nothing. This month we have spent how much is it, Randy? $150 this month because we have 
tested out some little five and ten and twenty dollar things, I believe, just to see from what everybody says. So yeah, that's about right. But to be fair, I mean, we really we're at the top of the leaderboard with spending nothing. We even though we spending have spent zero, folks, spending zero. We built a million dollar a year income each, spending zero. So I'm going to share with everybody just how we did. It. Okay, as most of you know, I am all about safe lists. Almost ninety percent of everybody that Randy and I enrolled in GDI came from safe list. So if any gurus are telling you safe lists stink, it's because they don't want you to use them so they can use them. But I didn't say traffic exchanges. I didn't say anything else. I said safe list. If you're using traffic exchanges and if they are working for you great but 99 percent that i've ever seen never work so that's one thing solo ads solo ads are great if being done by reputable services some of them are not reputable at all so you got to be careful with that and we're going to give you in your back office of both of our systems you have access to everything i'm showing you okay everything Tonight, we're going to share with you how to get set up and how to use them and use them effectively, okay? So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to chop this up into two parts. How to set up for a safe list properly, how to use and execute your ad on the safe list, and then we're, I'm going to show you my 10-second follow-up to freedom. 10-second follow-up to financial freedom, okay? So hold tight, hold your questions, get ready, uh, turn your volume up, and watch your screen. I'm going to go into a, uh, a desktop share now. So everybody, uh, let's see, make sure I don't have enough enough. I shouldn't have uh, yeah, Okay, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Now, you might see our main company. Okay, I apologize if you do, you do. But let me get out of it. Let me go over here. Okay, let's start here first. Whenever you go and sign up for SafeList, okay, you want to make sure, I wanted to see if I had this up too for you. You want to make sure that you have two Gmail accounts set up prior to signing up for your SafeList. The first account is your list account. That'll be flooded with millions of emails from other members. Now, don't delete those emails in that account. That is a gold mine. Otherwise, you're going to still have to shovel tonnage of dirt, but instead of one ton of dirt per one gold nugget, you might have to do two pounds of dirt, okay, for each gold nugget. Because in those emails, a lot of people put their names, email addresses, and in some cases, phone numbers as well as the company they're promoting. And if you build your own list and take 5, 10, 15 minutes a day, to create your own list on a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by extracting that as you open each of those up to get credits for yourself so you can do mail outs on your safe list. Before you know it, at the end of a month, you might have 100, 200, 300 people that are active marketers that are building this thing. And on the next training, I mean, if I have enough time tonight, I might go into it how to prospect those people as well. Okay, so before I do, let me do something real quick. Bear with me. Let's go ahead and uh, let me open this up as well. Okay, now let me come back here. Okay, so we're in Gmail, everybody. Uh, you're going to want to have a list account, and let's just say your name is Mary, okay? then you're gonna to wanna to create a list account, but it needs to be designated. Now in the beginning, you need to designate it and have the word list in it somehow so you can differentiate. I don't have to anymore. I've got, I know which two accounts I'm using currently for it. But when you're first starting out, set up your first list, Mary's list at gmail.com or Mary had a little list at gmail.com, okay? Something catchy or whatever, but short and sweet, something that you'll, whenever you look at it, you know that's your list account for your safe list. The second account is a contact account. Contact account won't be as flooded as the list account. Con contact account will mostly have 
solo ads that are being sent out through those safe lists. It'll have administra- a- a- the, the, ad- the admin will send personal emails out and it'll go into your contact account. And then you'll still get some high dollar credit emails that'll come into that account as well. Okay. And that is a gold mine as well for people that are sending their ads out that are serious about business. So you don't want to really delete out of those, but you'll want to get credits. The more credits you get by opening up, clicking a link, waiting for the timer to go off, click a number that matches the other number and boom, you're done. And we'll do a little bit of that as well. So you're going to want to set set those two accounts up. The second one, the contact account. If you're Mary, you might want to call it contact Mary at, gmail.com. If that's already taken, maybe you want to use please contact Mary at gmail.com. Okay. But have the word contact in it. Okay. That way you can differentiate between the two accounts. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log in to your 10X SBC or your 10X recruiter account. And you're going to want to go to advertising right here. You'll go under marketing Click on advertising, and you're going to want to open up your safe list sites. Okay, these are banners. This could take a few minutes, you know, one, two, three minutes, depending on how slow or how fast your computer or your internet service is, because there's almost 200 banners back here that all have to load, or the majority have to load before it opens up for you. And of course, you'll watch this little circle going, going, going as it propagates to try to open them all up. Now, this time of night, most likely all of them won't open up. That's okay. But you're going to want to open it up whenever you see this thing after, you know, usually after a minute or two. Might take that long, might not. Just so everybody knows, we're at the mercy of each safe list. So we're grabbing the banners directly from the safe lists. Uh, if I can ever find the time, I'll download all their banners and we won't be at their mercy anymore. <laughs> Tim, you may have to hit the refresh button again just to see. Uh, just the refresh button. Okay. But anyways, plus I've got a lot of windows open here. So, but that's okay. So I'm going to click on, I'm, I've already set up three brand new safe lists that I'm not a member of, okay, that I found. I'll be testing these, but this will just give you an idea. Does Teresa hire out as a safe list, whatever? I don't know she doesn't. <laughs> Just find you somebody part time, I guess, if that's the case. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to set up, I'm going to sign up to three safe lists right now, okay? Here's the first one Aim High Traffic. So I'm going to sign up and join for free. My first name, I've already got all this pre filled out. Email address. Since they only asked for one email address, I'm going to use my contact address, okay? I'm going to verify it again. My username. I use the same username and the same password for every one of my safe lists, okay? That's very important to remember that. Always use the exact same one. I'm going to check, check mark, submit, okay? So it sent me a verification email. I'm going to remember the login for it. Now I'm going to go to my second one. I'm going to knock all these out at the same time. That took, what, 10 seconds with all my talking and everything? So I'm going to sign up to this one. Ten seconds. Exactly ten seconds. And the third one here. I'm going to go ahead and sign up to this one. Tim Seabird, my CU business, my CU business username that I booted off, so maybe I missed this. Nah, don't worry about it. You'll be able to play it back. So I'm going to sign up to these three safe lists, okay? Booyah. Let's see. Already, I'm already a member. Okay, well, two safe lists. <laughs> okay. So I'm already a member of that one. Let's come on out of here. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to my, my CU business account. As you see, I got a lot of Gmails in here that are saved. So I'm going to go to my CU business. So 
I'm going to go to aim high and top hit. So here's top hit. I'm going to open it. I'm going to click on it and verify it. So that one's verified. So that's top hit. I'm going to go to aim high right here. I'm going to, this is the confirmation email. I just found it. I'm going to click it to come confirm. I confirmed it. I'm getting out of it. Now, here's how you use SafeWorks, okay? I'm going to go and pull up an email here. I'm going to shoot, use one of my ads. Oops, congratulations. Ednet just upgraded the distributor. Just had to sign up for Andy. Yes, like that. Okay, now, whenever you do an ad in a safe list, you do not want to include your domain name in the ad. So I've got two ads set up, one that I use in autoresponders and safe lists that do allow the domain name in the ad and those that don't, okay? I've labeled it as a safe list ad. So here's an ad I've got. Just created it today. Going to test it out and see how it does. And I'm going to use it. Now, we've already got ads created for you in the back office of 10X SPC and 10X Recruiter that you can utilize at any time. And I'm going to go over here to aim high. I'm going to log in. Of course, you got to go through their special offers and, you know, all that stuff. 200. Let's just see here. 200 that I've got. Um, I'm not sure how many members, how many members that they have here. So what I'm going to do is something that's a little different. I'm going to take five or 10 seconds here because they have claim super solo credits. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and get me some super, super solo credits. There's one. That's okay. That's good, Lynn. We understand this room is full and that's probably why. You know, it depends on your internet service too, like I said. So, Here's five that I just did for 2,500. And how you use them is you come over here. Let's see, where are they at? Right here? Nope. Right here? Nope. Right here? Nope. Oh, over here. Okay. Click this. Okay, here's one. Click the smaller number. What is the smallest number? Two. Okay. I just They just gave me 500 mailing credits. Here's the next one. Click the larger number. Huh. Okay, nine. 500. This is how hard it is to get credits. Click the number. Two. Okay, everything else is a letter. Click the number. Two. 500. And here's the last one. Click the circle. Hmm, not too hard. 500. Okay. So I just got 2,500 credits right then and there. I'm going to go over to send mailing. It says I need to. You have only viewed five. Okay, let's see if I've got any in my inbox. I don't yet, so I'm going to go back to these and do a few more of these real quick. They just took 10, 15, 20 seconds, so everybody bear with me here. I'm doing this just so I can do a mail out. Okay. Click the larger box. Not too difficult. Click the number, hmm, four. Click the larger box, right there, 500 or more. Click the box, well, everything else is a circle except for that one. Click the smaller number, well, there's a one up, but there's a zero, okay? 500 there, that's it, okay. So now I've opened up enough mailers of some type, I can do a mailing, okay? Now. This particular safe list, they have their HTML editor. I'm going to open it up for HTML editor. I love to use HTML editors. It just makes coloration and everything. Message sub. Here are the macros you can use that can pull out the first name of the members that are receiving this. It's a pound sign, all caps, first name, pound sign. Okay. I've already got some saved from previous ones that I've done. Okay. So... So I'm going to go ahead and see if I've got, yep, there's one right there. And now I'm going to copy and paste the ad in here, okay? 
Now, they also have a credit link here. So I'm going to put the credit link in here as well, the macro for it. Certain, certain ones, you have to do that. That just gives a credit link that, that the, the, the user that wants to go and look at your ad to get their credits. Text color will be red. Background will be yellow. First name tag. So I'm going to put a first name tag here. That's first name. Boom. Okay, this ad is almost ready to go. I've got my ad pasted in. Okay. Everything's there, a little coloration and everything. Now, the link, the, the site URL that I want them to go to when they click my credit link, okay? The one I use is currently used as I build your income, okay? It's a new one. We're testing out the new landing page of the company. And credits, I get to use 2,526 credits, 2,526. That's 2,526 members will get this email folks so if i wasn't showing you how to do this i would have come to this page chose my thing pasted in here i would have already had the pound first name pound already in the ad okay and the credit link already in the ad so i would have copied and i'd have pasted an ad in here i would have brought the link up typed in here and hit send and in 10 to 15 seconds i'm in and out of this email here's part of the ad Part of the landing page right here. Take me to the fast link. Yeah, baby. So confirm my site, and it's off and running to all those people. Now let me do it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. Well, I can't do it quicker because I don't have the macros pasted in there. But but so I'm gonna come to the next one here. That one's all done. Before I exit it, I'm gonna leave it up for a second, and I'm gonna log in on this second one that we signed up to. Okay. And I'm going to get through these little pages. Oh, this one has a little login ad you got to sit and watch, okay? Let me say this. Dave Mosier is a good friend of mine. He has probably the best solos that money can buy in the industry, okay? And we've got a link to one of his sites that you have, a, that he has a solo package back there that is phenomenal, okay? So you, you can see that in the event you want to go with something like that. So this is an excellent ad as far as I'm concerned. It's solo ad maniac. This is how I rate them. It takes me two seconds to enter that in. Hit rate site, go to it, gave me 30 credits. I got 245 in here. Now, mind you, like I said, I probably would have already put a bunch in. So I'm just going to do this again real quick. I wouldn't normally have to do this. Yeah, Dave just eats, eats, lives, eats, and breathes solo ads, okay? Uh, that's what he's about, is creating the best frequency of opens. Click the smaller number. Well, that's probably zero. Okay, that one's done. Click the letter, hmm, I. Get out of there. Click the larger number, which would be what, nine? Yep, nine. I've actually clicked the wrong thing. Click the box. That was a box. Click the larger number. Hmm. Where is it? Eight. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Okay, so we're going to come over here now. I'm going to do a mailing or, or maybe, yep, I can do a mailing. Okay, good. So I'm going to pick the, uh, I like using the same exact subject line, okay? Paste. Oh, let me get out of here. Put up the HTML editor. Editor. Hey, bro, it was 91%. I don't know what that is. Put in the macro. First name. Pound. And then I'm going to come down here and put in the credit link macro. Like I said, I would already have this done. So I can just copy and paste. Okay.
393 people on this one. Send. Audio is horrible, but you'll, you'll hear it on the recording, folks. Keep that in mind. So it's propagating right now. Warning, open socket. That's okay. Three, two, one, zero, confirm. Okay, so almost 3,000 people now have gotten my ad in their inbox. And that's how you do safeness. Now, let me say this again. You definitely are going to want to make an icon for this, okay? For each one of these, a login icon. So log out. Here's what I do is I take this and I one-click. I click one time on the, now that it's on this page, login page, and I highlight this and then I left click and hold it down and drag this over here and there's my icon, okay? So I can exit out of this one, aim high, same thing. I'm gonna log out. So it's in the login page. I'm gonna one click, highlight it, pull it down. There's the next one right there. Now that I already have that done, here's something else, folks. Here is my folder on my desktop with all my safe lists. Here's safe lists here that use this type of macro. So I've already sorted them and put them in their own file. Here's just safe lists that have different types. Okay, and I haven't sorted those. Um, F names, okay, tilde F name tildes. And then here's the ones that we just did right here. So what I'm going to do right now is... I'm going to exit out of here. Let me see. Exit out of here. Click that out. And I'm going to rename these. I always do this so I keep them in systematic order. One dash pound dash space. One dash. One dash space pound dash space. Boom. Okay, now what I'm going to do is open up my safe list folder, go into this safe list, and I'm going to drop these in here. And you're going to notice it, put them at the bottom. Watch what happens. So what is it called? Aim high and top hit. Name high, aim high and top hit. Now I'm going to close it and I'm going to reopen it. And now they're alphabetical order here. Let's see. Aim high, AI, right here. And top hit is down in the T's, right here. Okay, so I already have a folder. I've already got everything sorted. I'm going to be getting with Randy, and we'll be creating this folder layout for you to where it'll already be set up for you so you can go ahead and upload it to your desktop and, and be ready to go. And I have to go through all this, okay, to set these things up. So keep that in mind, please. Okay, so that is safe list, folks. This is what I do. You see how many safe lists? There's only, what, six in this one. This one's got um, six in it. That's 12. This folder has got one, two, three, four. Uh, it's 23 in this one. This one's got, oh, probably about 100 in this one. This one's got probably about the same amount, almost 100. So, and there's miscellaneous ones. And here's all my solo ad companies that I've dealt with over the years that are still in business, okay? And I check them out every now and then. And there's a few other, here's a million leads for free program that lets you send out, you know, so many per day, 2,500 a day to their members. So that's it. Everything's in one little neat little file here on my desktop right here, okay? So that's that. But now let's go ahead and go to the next part of training, okay? Let's go ahead and go to the 10-second the follow-up, folks. Let me log out of here. Let's go to the 10-second follow-up, okay? I, um, I'm a strong advocate for follow-up, okay? Fortune is in the follow-up, and this is no joke. And this is how I built my teams over the years. Now, I don't chase anybody. There's a big difference in people that really follow up, okay? Some of them don't win as much as the people that do 
the right type of short-term follow-up. You see, systems do long-term follow-up. We're designed to do short-term follow-up. So with that being the case, our main company and our two systems are set up to do long-term follow-up for you. But it's the personal touch that will bring people to your team, that will bring people to want to do business with you. I had a fella call today, and I answered the phone. And he said, wow, I was expecting to get a recording. I said, why is that? He said, because everybody else I've ever called never answers their phone. And they never call me back. He's, I said, so you're saying I'm the first one that ever has? He says, yes. And I said, and how long has that been? He said, uh, for years. And so we talked, and he signed up as a gold today. And he called me from an ad that he got on a safe list. So it's imperative. I don't do 25 safe lists in a day. Folks, if you are set up correctly and you hone your skill like I have, like Randy has, and like some of you that are on here have, you can do a safe list between login pages that you got to go through with timers. You can do a safe list a minute, okay? A safe list a minute. And with that being the case, in an hour, you can do 60. In two hours, you can do 120. And in three hours, you can do 180. Four hours, 240. And you can do that five days a week. You might say, but Tim, that wears me out. Tim, it's so hard on my fingertips and my brain and my butt hurts from the, I got the serial number of my chair plastered on my bottom. Folks, dig in. Do you think Michael Jordan moaned and groaned about doing lines? Now, I'm not talking about cocaine lines. I'm talking about doing lines where you run back and forth, back and forth. You go to the, the quarter line. You go to the half court line. You go to the three quarter line. Then you go to the other end of the court line and back and forth. Those are called lines. That's what we call them. Do you think he moaned and groaned and said, I can't do it and walked away from it? No. Do you think Tim Seaver, do you think I moaned and groaned? I, well, I probably did moan and groan about it, but I still did it. I didn't walk away from it. You know, if you're on here because you want to find a way to build five or ten thousand dollars a month in income and get yourself out of your job or put your family in a better position in life and your children to have a better future, it's going to be up to us to do it. It's going to be us to, to man up and woman up. It's going to be for us to make that commitment to put the strength in our own hands and in our own minds. Let me tell you, I get down here some mornings at seven in the morning and I didn't go to sleep till three or four because we were up doing calls with people on other parts of the country. And then I took my, and then I took my, my, my hibernate from our, our main company at two in the morning and I'm getting up five hours later and man, that hibernate wants me to stay asleep. Okay. But I made a commitment to do something. Okay. Sure, it's easy to lay in bed and chill out and close my eyes and let the hibernate take me back into la-la land. But the fact of the matter is, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. If it's up to me, it's meant to be, okay? It's called just growing up and doing it. So let's talk about the 10-second follow-up, okay? Yep. Let me tell you something, I'm working the same safe list I worked when I first got on the internet 15 years ago, folks. The same ones. Dig in. You're darn right. Now's the time to do it. If you don't do it now, in 10 years, you're going to have to, and you're going to be 10 years older and 10 years more tired and 10 years more broke. So if you're wanting to make that change, right now is the time to make the change. Not tomorrow, not next Wednesday at 5 o'clock, okay? Right now. So let's talk about the 10-second follow-up. Exactly, Cynthia, exactly. 10-second follow-up, okay? So 
Let me come out of here. Let's go into, I've got another folder set up. Oh, we got some more things here. Skinny body care. Okay, good. Well, I'll tell you what, here's a 10 second follow-up. Here's a brand new pre-enrollee just came in. Okay. So I've got my pre-enrollee and welcome upgrade letters all in a folder right here. So let's open this folder up. And I've got a pre-enrollee letter right here, already created. Okay. It's in your member's back office of our system. And I'm going to go ahead. Let's see here. Oops. Let me do this. Okay. You leave that up for a second. Now let's go to let's go to do this. Shrink the screen down. I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to tap. Oops. On this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is bring up my spam arrest. My Hey guys, uh, this is Tim calling me right now. I bet he just lost the internet. Let's see what Tim has to say. Tim, you're live on the air. Tell us what's going on. Hello, everybody. Just got a blue screen. My computer crashed and dumped everything. I have, I have just been nonstop with this thing. Randy and I have, and this is a fairly new computer, but that's just how much work we've been doing on this. So it is rebooting. It's going to take probably two to four minutes to reboot, which is fine. We're still early in the training, which is good. Uh, as soon as it reboots, I'm going to bring up my screens, and I'll be right back in the room with you, and we'll pick up where we left off. So, uh, Randy, I'm sorry about that. If you can just talk with them for two or three or four minutes uh, about anything that you've, you know, maybe about the system and systems, uh, any updates, things like that, and then I'll be right back on with each and every one of you in just a moment, okay? All right, Tim, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Well, there we go. <laughs> Tell you what, that's the power of live webinars, right? Uh, so, any questions so far? And I just want to say too that uh, you know, um, Tim and I, we do hundreds of these. It's mainly Tim because I do a lot of the programming and things like that. So that's kind of his job in the company. But you know, he'll do two hundred of these in a day. It's amazing. But even back when I was building my teams back in uh, GDI. Uh, when I brought in over 700,000 people myself personally, um, uh, I did it myself. I did safe list myself. And uh, I can tell you, you don't, you, you can't get along. We get so many people that'll say, well, I've, I've tried safe list and it didn't work. Well, how many did you try? Well, I would send out to 10 a day or I'd send out to 10 once a week. That's not going to get it. I mean, it's just, I, I hate to be brutally honest with you, but doing 10 a week, 10 a day is not going to get it probably doing 50 a day is, is not going to get it fast enough for you. If you want it really fast, you'll learn how to do 100 plus a day. Now, if you don't mind being a little slower, 50 a day is fine, but 50 a week is not going to get it either. So you got to find the time somewhere. And I know a lot of you work, and Tim and I, we have the luxury to be able to stay at home full-time and work, but we got that luxury because we worked a full-time job and did this too. Remember, we, we all grew up. You know, we were all born somewhere and we all grew up. Uh, so, yes, Tim and I were little kids at one time ourselves. And so we were working full time jobs. I was working sometimes 80 hours a week uh, just to pay, you know, pay the bills. And and I would still get on here and find the time. Every waking moment I had that I wasn't at work, I was on here instead of watching TV, instead of outside, uh, instead of, you know, going shopping, uh, whatever. And it paid off. It paid off. I mean, a couple of years of that and it paid off big time. Uh, I'm now, you know, um, and this is not me bragging. I'm just letting you know what happens. I'm now a millionaire. Uh, I'm 43 years old. I was actually became a millionaire by the time I was 38 and I was able to retire at 38 and just came back into the industry this year. And, um, and that's just the way it is, but I don't dress like a millionaire. You'll notice I've always got the same kind of shirts on. I just like being comfortable. I don't always shave. I, I, you know, but that's just me. I don't flaunt my money, but I am a millionaire from the industry and I did it by working 
safe list. I did it by working, by finding every waking moment between jobs, between hours, between everything. Did my wife and I get in some arguments? Yes, we did. Did she want to spend time with me? Yes, she did. Did I miss some of the kids' functions? Yes, I did. But you know what? After a couple of years doing that, I was at every kid's function. I was taking my family on vacations. I was buying them anything they wanted. Uh, and, and we were just having fun. And so they had every waking moment with me growing up uh, after a couple of years of that. So you have to learn to schedule your time to be able to do this if you really want to succeed. In. And that's about the best advice I can give you. It's kind of like the old saying, I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make it drink. So I've just led you to water. It's up to you if you want to take a drink of it or not. But let me see what people are saying here. Um, <clears throat> uh, learning new things. Uh, should have met you guys 14 years ago when I got started. <laughs> well, I wish we had, Mary. I wish we had met back then. Several will only uh, let you mail every three. That is true, Clyde. That is true. Some will let you only marry, uh, mail every three days or once a week. Now, the way you do that is you'll have about 250 safe lists that you're members of, okay? 250 to 300 that way you sort the ones that only let you mail every three to five days sort them in a five-day folder in a three-day folder and then the ones that let you do it every day in an everyday folder so you can hit those that let you do it every day you can hit those and then the ones that every three days you know to come back to every three days and the other ones every five days every five days so it doesn't mean that just because they they limit you to every three or five days that you can't uh sort it in a fashion to where you can't use them and one thing you'll notice, too, is a lot of these safe lists that will only let you mail every three or five days, once every three or five days, they'll have a lifetime upgrade for like $5 or $10. Now, Tim and I don't pay that anymore because we've already paid for them years ago. But if you've got five bucks laying around and they'll let you upgrade to a lifetime membership for $5, which means you can mail out every single day and you get free credits every month, spend the five bucks if you have it. And go ahead and let them upgrade you to a, to a the maximum membership, you know. But, you know, you don't have to upgrade all of them. You don't have to upgrade any of them. I'm just telling you some of the things that we did years ago so that now we have safe lists that we can mail out to every single day. Plus, we get credits every month. Some of them give for, for a one-time payment of 5 or 10 bucks. So some of them maybe 20 bucks, But for a one-time payment, you get 50,000 credits a month. That's 50,000 people every single month you can mail to. And that particular list may only have 5,000 people in it. So you're able to mail out for 10 days uh, without even having to click on the link. So that's pretty cool, huh? So, so that's uh, that's something you can do as well. Um, uh, person work hard and don't realize they're working the wrong way. That's true, Rose. A person can be working hard. There's a difference between uh, biz, being busy and being productive. There really is. And you have to understand at the end of the day, were you just busy today or were you productive today? And that's a whole different training. Uh, a real good friend of mine, uh, Anthony Robbins, you might may know him, Tony Robbins. He trains on that a lot. And I've took, I picked up a lot of information from him over the years. And, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get him on one of our trainings one time. I can't guarantee it. He's very busy, has a very busy schedule, but, uh, next time I talk to him, I'm going to see if I can't get him on here and do a training with us one night. I think you guys might like having Anthony Robbins around, but, uh, your audio is messed up, Tim. See if you can get your audio fixed. Uh, but anyway, one of the things he says is, is were you busy or were you productive? And there's a difference between the two. So at the end of the day, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, was I busy today or was I productive today? And if you wasn't productive, then find out what you need to do tomorrow to be productive and do it. Um, let's see, question. So using the these safe lists, uh, the pre-enrollees will go in through the 10 x That is correct. So you would use the safe list and you would use your link. The credit links would go in through to your landing pages in your 10X SBC system or 10X recruiter system, whichever one you're using. And then they will fill out the form and now you've captured them. Okay, now you can send them out email blast every 48 hours. You can send them out personal emails through your own email uh, account provider. Uh, you can do follow ups with them. You can call them, whatever you need to do. But that's your person forever now. You've got them on your list. So that's that's what you want to do is send them through that system. Uh, Tim, give me one more second to try to see if any of these others are questions. And that was not a question. Do you use aggregators to send to the 200 list at the time? I'm not sure I know what an aggregator is, but maybe Tim does. So I'll let him see if he answers that one. Uh, this one here is a great example. I was starting playing this. Okay, can you just copy and paste the email in the back office? Uh, and we will form it. It is in your back office. If you'll look under a marketing tab and look under email, uh, pre written emails. These emails that Tim are using are in that system already, so they're ready for you to use. Tim, take it away, buddy. 
Okay, everybody, I apologize for that. We have just been burning these computers up. So uh, let's go back to where I was at. We're going to do the 10-second follow-up. Let me go to screen share here. Bear with me. Let me go back in here now. Okay, here we are. So let's go back. Y'all might hear Bobby giggling upstairs. My 13-year-old daughter is having a giggle attack upstairs. So, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Whenever I do my 10-second follow-up, I've opened up my email account and my skinny body back, back office. I'm going to shrink the screen down. I'm going to bring this over to here. And I'm going to do a split screen, okay? I just made the screen smaller, had both of them up. Drag the one over here, which is going to be my skinny body care back office. By the way, folks, take a look at this. 1,093 free enrollees. And we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? So here's my 10-second follow-up. I highlight this free enrollee follow-up email. Open this up. Huh. Like I've got some more stuff here. Okay. Compose. I'm going to get rid of the signature stuff. I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to put their first name, Madison, Madison, M-A-D-S-O-N. M-A-D-S-O-N. I'm going to, I've already got preset subject line in here. Let's see here. What was it? Nope. It's under a different name. Rita. Here's a one-time skinny body special offer. So I'm going to put Madsen, M-A-D-S-O-N. I'm going to copy email address. Paste. Keep this in my save. And boom. The ad's gone. The, 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 the pre-enrollee welcome is gone. And it's on its way to them. My spam arrest account has a confirmation email signature return that's built into it. So this way I'll know if they, have, they, they opened it up or not. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. So remember that 1,093 pre-enrollees. Okay. In here. And I apologize if we have some 10X recruiter members in here. This is generic, but this is all about follow-up. And I have to use something to follow up. So we're going to use this. Um, and I'm going to look at our, our personal enrolls in this 10X team account. 149 out of 1,093. You can work the math. That's 15% conversion, folks. In this industry... Most people are lucky to get a half a percent, maybe if they're superstars, 1%. We've got 15% with no money out of pocket, okay? No money out of pocket. That follow-up is in the 10X SBC system, folks. So you, you, also, also, oh, Jim, I, you also show them how to do a sin blast uh, so they don't have to do it one at a time if they're using the 10X SBC system? Yeah, I'll show them that as far as that goes. You talking about, you talking about for the uh, pre-enrollees? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, I'll do that. Sure, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, okay, here is my, my welcome for my upgrades. Okay, I'm going to take the welcome for the upgrades, copy it. Come over here. Got a couple of upgrades that I haven't sent to, and I, I recognize a name here, so I'm going to go ahead and just send this one. And then Ed, I've, I've known Ed. He saw my ad and fell in love with it and rock and roll. So here's Leslie's, okay? Leslie, let me give you all an idea. My wife, Teresa, for those of you that don't know Teresa, her family had a network marketing company in the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s. Skincare. Company. Um, and it was Rosemary Collection, RMC. 
Uh, before that, it was the product was owned, and they worked for a company out of Orlando called Costco. Well, Teresa managed the corporate office. She ran the network marketing corporate office. She wasn't out in the field or, or as a distributor. So she's got all of that education on how to run a network marketing company. So I was, I praise God that I found her, okay, and she found me. So in turn, uh, you know, with family and friends, if I've got an impact product that changed, could change their life and they're going to feel something from, from it right away, I have no problem taking it to them if they need it, okay? Now, that's not saying I'm going to try to introduce them to the business. Well, I've never seen Teresa go to her family about any product because most of them came from network marketing anyways, except for her brother, who was a policeman. And she never talked to him about product. But Teresa is so... She is so sold and believes so much in Hibernate and Skinny Body Max and Instant Youth and all the products we have. She went to her brother and soon-to-be sister-in-law, Leslie, and was excited about the products and showed them to them. And Leslie just came in right here, L. Rich, Carolina, .rr.com. Phone number 980 is here. 150 BV. That's a gold pack she came in with. And is so pumped and excited about it, it's not even funny. So I put her name right there. I have a subject line that I copy and paste it off of here. I put her email address up there. I'm going to copy it because I've got one more to do. And I hit send. That's it. 10 second personal welcome to the team upgrade member email. Okay. Now I've got another one in here. So let's see if we can find it. Ed. Here it is. 8, let's see, 07 21 2016 welcome. I got to do this to Leslie's, but I'll do it later. I won't forget it. I always make note whenever I send them their, their welcome email so I can keep up with who's received it and who hasn't. Here's Ed. I've known Ed for years. He saw my ad and um, my name. And so I'm going to do this with Ed in here. Um, let's see. Eva is a welcome to our skinny body. And I'll put Ed in place. That D. And then I'll get Ed's email address. It's off and running to the races. Okay, folks, that's follow up. And if I'm not talking to y'all and I'm just in here by myself, I can get that done in 10 seconds and out the door. Now, if we can't give our new members, the people that just trusted us, that kind of attention, 10 second attention, send them a personal welcome instead of all these welcomes, generic welcomes they get from these companies and send them a personal welcome. Make sure they get plugged in. Make sure you put everything in front of them. I tell you what, that little iota of effort can become a mountain of thanks, a mountain of trust. It can, it can grow into an incredible lifetime relationship. And I, I firmly believe that's what everybody should be doing. Now, let's talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about um, our back office, okay? Your prospects, people that opt in to, let me pull up my landing page stats. I just started a landing page today, y'all, and I sent it out to SafeList today. Take a look. I have had a sign-up thing. Yeah, no? Oh, I talked to two people. They're getting, they're going to be signing up. Okay. So I just started this today. Just sent it out today. I've already had 844 visitors and 41 prospects. These others above and below here were test accounts. This is the one I'm using for savings right here. I just started it today. 
41 prospects. Show zero members. I've got two that are getting ready to sign up. Two that are getting ready to sign up. So, and in the meantime, all these other signups that we had today were from 1,093 other pre-enrollees that have been getting follow-ups from the company, and they got my offer to upgrade, our offer to upgrade. So here's what happens. If you've got personal prospects, okay, right here, personal prospects, you have an email blaster to send them your special offer. Every 48 hours, that's every two days, you can send out an email blast to your pre-enrollees right here. You can send out an email blast to your pre-enrollees. Now, let me see here. You click on that, do your subject line, put in your HTML ad, copy it down here, it shows up as a text, you hit send email blast, you're off and running. You can use this first name macro in the subject line and in the body of your follow-up. That is the simplicity of this system, is automated follow-up. And that's part of the personal touch that takes a few seconds out of your day to do just that. Now, oops, let's go back in here. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to look for some follow-ups here. Give me just a second. got to remember where, I put, where we put them. Specialist purchase leads, advertising email. Pre-written emails right here. Okay? Follow Blind lead introduction emails right here. See it? Whenever you open it up, here is a blind email. Remember all the leads that you're extracting out of everybody else's credit safe list emails that you're going in and getting credits and, and while you're getting the credits, you see their name and maybe their email address and maybe their phone number as well as the company and you're putting it in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Well, let me say this. You can take an ad like this, okay? And of course, you can take this ad and you're going to want to change it. You're going to want to put, you know, we've been in the network marketing industry full time for, it might be three years for you, okay? And only been with a handful of companies. Over the years, we've received correspondences, da 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 da. Uh, want to know if you're still interested in finding that perfect company. If you are, we think we found it. We think we found that perfect company. And if you'd like to receive information on it, hit reply to this email and type send the link along with your name. And we'll reply with the website link where you can check out this incredible business with no pressure. If you'd rather be deleted from our list, type delete and include your name. We will delete you from our list immediately. Either way, thanks. No, no, no. Your name and your phone number, folks. Name and phone number, always, on correspondences and ads, always. That letter right there, you can take five minutes of your day and you can send it out personally to each one. I would not, I would not, and I'm going to repeat that, okay? I would send it out personally. If you send it out as high friend, then they're going to know you're generic and you just extrapolated and took a chance that they're a network market, okay? But if you send it out personally to Tony or to Sally, hi, Sally, we're Tim and Teresa Siebert. We've been in the network market. Either way, and then Tim and Teresa Siebert and our phone number at the bottom, okay? You're going to get back 10% of those that are going to request the link. You're going to get back Another 10%, they're going to want to be deleted. And the other 80% won't re respond. They're going to hit delete. So if you take this and do this once a week, and you have 100 people to do it to, once a week, I guarantee you what you will have, more leads, more pre-enrollees, and more upgrades than you can handle. Now imagine this, folks. Now that you've been shared this, you have to delete your own responses. Go back into that Microsoft Excel sheet. And what you do is 
what you do is you just keep them on the list because remember you might have their phone number and you can always call them they can't get you for spam phone solicitation but they still become a lead okay but just put beside their name don't email dash mike ames okay don't email but keep them on the list i never delete anybody off my list i just put don't email okay so but you will have more fun staying busy now imagine this you got five team members you just learned this you share this with them you get this video you get this recording and you share it with them okay now imagine this let me come out of here and let's pull this bad boy up stop sharing okay you can come back in here randy so imagine this you you take five of your people and you have them watch this recorded training and you have them duplicate this same thing. Why do people stop in network marketing? Sometimes they just don't have stick to it. Okay. Sometimes their commitment level is not as high as your commitment level. And who do we blame for that? We have to blame ourselves, not them. You see, how you set somebody up is going to determine if you set them up for success or you set them up for failure. When you bring somebody on, ask for commitment, okay? If you start dating somebody, okay, you, you work up to your commitment, okay? But when people are ready to sign up, otherwise they're ready to go to the altar, you got to ask for commitment. I had a guy on the phone today also. One of the two signups that I talked to, well, we had about seven signups today, but but he was talking about, well, you know, I might give this a try and this and that, and I, you know, I might give it, I might give it thirty days. And I asked him, I said, "Are you married?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Let me ask you something. Did you go to the altar with your wife, your soon-to-be bride?" And look at her right before that minister or preacher or rabbi says, you know, it starts hitting you with all the marriage stuff. Did you look across at her with her beautiful made up eyes and veil over her head and look at her and say, we'll give this thing 30 days and see if it works. If not, we'll get a divorce. Did you? And he kind of chuckled. He said, no. He, I said, well, let me ask you something. You have to work at that. You have to work at it to make it work, okay? You have to give it attention seven days a week. You have to have communication because you wanted it that bad. You wanted that marriage that bad. Do you want this that bad? He said, well, well yeah. I said, then why would you look at me and say, I'm going to give it 30 days. You just failed before you got started. And he, he said, you know, you're right. I said, that's right. I said, don't get me wrong. I know I know it's hard when you put money out, find a pro one product a month. I know it's hard on some people and it's and it's a and it's a piece of cake for other people. But the fact of the matter is, if you aren't willing to work 12 months on this business to be able to take off the rest of your life, you need to get out of the network marketing industry. It's not for you. It's net worth. That's two words that have been put together. Communication and work. Net worth. And he came in as a goal today, too. So how we set people up and how we set these prospects up is going to determine their longevity is going to determine the stick to of the relationship. And this is where so many people build their organizations on sand. And as fast as they're putting them in, they're dropping out. How many on this call right now? We're getting ready to end it. I didn't mean to drag this thing out. I can get on a banner and we will one day. How many of you on here tonight? How many of you on here tonight? Have ever built an organization only to watch it fall apart as fast as you could build it? Just say me and be honest. How many of you? Me. <laughs> Back okay. in the 90s. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of you that have. Some of you might be too embarrassed to put me, but a lot of you have that aren't putting it on here. Two of them. Okay, well, nothing. Wrong. So here's what we've got to do. We have to stop the insanity, okay? We have to get ourselves out <coughs> of the vicious circle of insanity that we put ourselves in. Because if we continue to do the same thing we always do, we're going to continue to get the same thing we've always gotten. So today is the day to change. We're going to help you build your business with little to no money out of pocket. Now, for some of you, if you want to go from first gear to second gear, and you say, but Tim, I can, I, I can put $100 a month into advertising, we can direct you <coughs> into things. And they're not, they're not, they're not commissionable things that, that, yeah, spend it here, so I'll make 50%. We're not going to throw you in that direction. We're going to put you in something that's going to help you build your business. Because that's how we make our money. Not from getting you to spend that money on the advertising, but what the advertising can do for your sponsor and their sponsor and their sponsor, okay? And for your family. So with that, let's all take a step back and let's get back on that starting line. And when we run this race this time, do not look left or right to see who's next to you and don't look behind you. Let's stay focused on that finish line. For some of you, that finish line is six to 12 months. For some of you, it's 24 to 36 months. But let's give the commitment level that you expect to be given by your and team. Remember, this is a mouse. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> okay. Tim has, about, Tim has a great story about this as a football. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it is. We have to take a step back. You know, Vince Lombardi was the greatest football coach of all times because he took a team of derelicts. They were considered derelicts. They were big bruisers. Their skill levels were medium, but they were illiterate in some cases. Some of them couldn't sign their own name. But he took this group of men that no other team in the NFL wanted and turned them into, net, into national champions. But he did it by taking the step back and holding that football up and said, this is a football. And he took it back to the basics. And he... He had a playbook that was simple. Folks, what I just showed you was simple. Doing these safe lists over and over and over, it's monotonous. But guess what? You're going to get faster, and you're going to get faster, and you're going to get faster, and it's going to be like riding a bicycle. <coughs> and, you know, if you've ever ridden a bicycle, you'll know the first time you got up on that bicycle without those training wheels, you fell. You scratched your knees, bruised your elbow hurt your head. But guess what? You got back up on that bicycle and you did it again. You didn't fall as hard because you rode closer to the grass. So when you fell, you fell in the grass instead of the road. Okay. So you got smarter. And then you realized how to keep your balance. And then all of a sudden it was speed racing from there. Well, the same thing goes in building your own personal prospects. Same thing goes. So with that, Alana, um, Lana, I would never use fiber for traffic. It's garbage. Um, so yeah, that I mean that's my opinion. Some people yeah. may have had success with it, but I would never use it. Cynthia uh, Ray, only name and, and phone number. That's it. Number one, when you're using Safe List, you cannot use anything that links to the internet in that email. Okay, you can't even put a. You're not supposed to put a a, a uh, email address in there, but a lot of people do. Probably one out of every 10 do. Okay? So don't put anything like that. Okay? Uh, if you want to put your email address, great. Make sure it doesn't hyperlink within the email itself. Sometimes you put that email address in there, one of two things is going to happen. Either people are going to send you personal follow-ups, blind follow-ups like I just showed you, or you're going to be added into people's autoresponders. You're going to start getting automated things that become very aggravating. So if you're going to use one, set up a third Gmail account and only use it for 
for people's responses from ads you've put out there with your email address. That's another way to get people's information. And that's another way to be able to legally get reply and say, and say, thanks for your offer, but I found something that's exploding. Go take a look at this. I build your income.com because now they can't cry spam to that. They sent you an email. So there's different ways, reverse marketing, exactly, Mary. So there's many different ways to build relationships, open communication up with people around the globe, and slowly extract them from what they're doing into what you're doing. Also, Cynthia Ray, remember, too, that if you were to happen to be talking about doing like the blind uh, follow-ups, do not add any information that leaks to a website or anything like that in the blind follow-up. Like Tim was showing us a little while ago, when you collect people's information from a safe list and you send them that blind follow-up email, don't add anything to it, such as social media sites, websites, blogs, anything, because you don't want to be considered as spam. And all you're doing is just asking them to reply to you if they want more information about something. Yep. Um, all you're trying to get them to do is reply, because once they reply to you, now you can re legally reply back to them with the information. That's right. Mm -hmm. Folks, I hope you take something from this that puts you on that leader's board and jettisons you to the top of that leader's board. I want to see each and every one of you. I, listen, folks, network marketing is about helping other people. So there is a room full of you on here, 100 people, 102, whatever it is plus people on the phone. Let everybody know that you just attended a, a webinar, a training webinar that's phenomenal, and that they need to become a part of it. Let's help everybody in our company build this company into the next giant. We have to work together. We have to. It's imperative. So, with that being the case, I want to say thank you, everybody, for attending tonight's training. I, As I said earlier, I hope you take something from what Randy has shared with you tonight and with what I've shared with you tonight. Don't make things harder than what they are. Remember, it's, it's easy if you just follow the directions or instructions. So with that, Please keep in mind, always check your FAQs in the back office of the training system. Sometimes you'll find your answers there as well. Also, peruse. Go through every one of those, those header tabs and check everything out. Learn the system. Take it out. Good job, Alana. <laughs> she had a great while on this webinar. Woo! Yes. Hey, that is Alana. Woo, that, woo, woo. I'm going to stop the recording. Let's go ahead and stop the recording, Tim, because anybody that's in here that's uh, with SBC or in the 10X SBC system, I, I don't know if you can, Tim, but I want to spend like an extra five or ten minutes without the recording yeah. on the questions that we're Let's go ahead okay. and stop that. Stop. Those of you that, well, wait a minute.